Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Do News. I am your host, the King of Do, and uh, I've been nerding out all day. I'm going to tell you a little bit about what I've been doing today in the crypto world, uh, but I'm also going to go over a little bit of news. Um, uh, my condolences to anyone affected by what's going on in London right now. Apparently there was a terrorist attack, uh, someone in a van is just running people over on the London Bridge. Um, seems to be quite a spike in violence as of late. Seems like it's picking up, like it's like there's some type of momentum building, uh, starting with that bombing. Um, not cool, not cool. It's, uh, it's scary to go to any type of uh, uh, public place right now, or in, definitely any place of relevance um, where someone might want to make a statement. Um, and get on the news so really scary stuff hope you guys are being safe over there um, so we hit 90 billion market cap yet again uh, we're still struggling it seems like we're having trouble really hitting that 100 billion mark um, it's been a, a grind this time a little bit which is good it's steady steady growth is better than explosive growth because then you have explosive exits like we had um, and so things are going a little bit better now so um, keep a, keep an eye on the the market caps um, and the volume and things like that. It's very important uh, to all cryptocurrencies. Um, that being said, um, news came out today. Apparently, uh, Russia has made an announcement that they are going to. Which is funny. I was talked about talked about Russia in my last video, but they have made an official announcement that they're going to be looking into cryptocurrency for themselves. The government is going to be looking at it as a solution. Um, and uh, that's basically official. I actually have something here I can read you guys on that. So, essentially, regulators of all the countries agree that it's time to develop national currencies. This is the future. Every country will decide on specific time frames. Um, after our pilot projects, we understand what system we could use in our case for our national currency. Um, so, basically, the Russian finance ministry recently announced um, its intentions to introduce Bitcoin regulations, offering a legal st uh, status to cryptocurrencies. Uh, the move is the opposite direction to the ministry's earlier stance, which involved criminalizing people uh, using Bitcoin. Um, so they've kind of 180'd this and said, um, hey, actually, we should probably get ahead of this because whoever figures out this stuff first um, and has the technology is... Uh, you know they're gonna have a lot more economic power uh, you know the the type of stuff that we're talking about decentralization of processing power and things like that um, whoever is able to leverage that the best and in the position to maximize the potential um, in the next 10 20 years is, is gonna have a leg up in the tech industries and essentially just make a lot of money so um, um, that's on top of the fact of as I said um, I've actually seen more reports confirming that Vitalik actually talked with uh, Putin and um, essentially um, maybe that's a result of their conversation where Putin finally uh, had an aha moment and gets it and has maybe given some directives to to uh, say, um, hey, in the long run, we, we need to look at this stuff. Let's not outlaw it. Let's see if we can support it and capitalize on it. So all that being said... Uh, just really, really interesting that that news broke today um, in that they're literally looking for it to be a solution uh, for Russia. So cool. So they've gone 180 from basically thinking about putting people in jail to saying we probably should use this stuff ourselves. Um, I think that's going to bode well for um, everything um, that this community is trying to do right now. And uh, we may see some big money enter the markets when uh, Russia opens up uh, tomorrow morning. So be looking out for that. Okay, um, I uh, wanted to talk about what I'm doing, what I've been doing today, and I've been uh, deep diving Gridcoin for you guys. I probably should do a whole entire video on it, but I just kinda wanted to go over it real quick and what I've been doing. I set it up um, so that I can start mining um, some Gridcoin and uh, so that's really cool. It was super easy, super simple, uh, at least for me. Been doing this kind of weird, quirky stuff for a while, so it wasn't too difficult. Um, I think I think most of you could figure it out. There's some good tutorials on there if you don't know. But the first thing I'd like to say is uh, Gridcoin is essentially uh, the same concept 
as Golem, except it's been going on for 10 years. Um, essentially, uh, Berkeley has, uh, which is a university, um, had built out this concept about 10 years ago that, you know, people, anyone in the world, if they wanted to give some processing power resources um, to donate them, essentially, they could. So, um, Gridcoin basically came along and said, hey, let's partner, you know, with, with what these people are doing and let's create a coin and a currency that revolves around this in order to help people pay for their electricity bills, essentially, right? Because a lot of people are just donating their time. Um, I was reading about one guy who just, he literally has solar panels and those solar panels are just enough power to power all of his Raspberry Pis and they are essentially doing all the processing power and mining. So he's literally mining with, well, he has his capital he invested in. I'm sure that was all expensive, right? The Raspberry Pis and uh, all the solar panels. But um, he's basically using uh, free energy <laughs> to contribute, uh, but not everyone's doing that, right? So um, they wanted to try to help people um, with uh, real mining equipment, um, lots of processing power to be able to contribute. So they created this coin and uh, it's really starting to take off. Um, I think grid coin is really cool because it's proof of concept of what we keep talking about with Golem. Um, I think uh, we can, I think you should be looking at uh, good coin very very closely to get an idea of how the golem system will work um and uh consider hedging your golem investment in ethereum investments a little bit um i like it myself obviously i spent a lot of time looking at it and researching it i know everything about it now um i like that it's for a good cause so even if the money that i'll uh maybe put into it or the time I put into it at the end of the day I'm helping the world um, with, that, with that being said um, just because I was in a hurry trying to get it going and mining um, while I'm doing this uh, video the machine I'm actually recording on is the one I played around with I need to set up all my other computers but um, uh, it is actively looking for ET right now uh, I'm looking for aliens I'm helping Berkeley uh, sort through a bunch of uh, SETI data um, basically a bunch of, uh, data that they're collecting, listening to what's out in space, looking, looking for, you know, signs of life. So, uh, my machine is actually doing that right now. That's kind of cool, right? Like, uh, whether you believe in that stuff or not, it's still super cool. Um, there's tons of different projects you could do that I saw. Um, there's one where you can help with the rendering of every single asteroid in the asteroid belt essentially is what their goal is to do. Um, to actually like figure out the shape and the size and actually create um, you know a modeling of every single one um, that's really fascinating and, um, and they're all not they're not all space related there's definitely mathematical focused uh, types of projects and um, anyhow you can learn all about it um, if you go to Bo Inc I don't even know how to pronounce it Bonic B O I N C just Google that um, again, this program called Bonix has been around, or Bonic, um, it's been around for quite a while, um, and you can go there and learn all about it, um, and people have been donating their processing power to universities for a long time, it's just now you're getting rewarded for it. Okay, so all that being said, if you're invested in Gridcoin and you're a holder right now, if you're not aware, you can actually go stake it in the wallet, just download the wallet, um, and you'll get 1.5% APR, so that's really important, um, you're going to want to do that. Um, but also consider mining it if uh, you want to do speculative mining. Right now, you're probably going to make enough money uh, to cover your electricity bill, and that's it. Um, but a lot of people believe that this could uh, uh, be a 10x um, coin, and that's because right now the way that it's uh, the, basically in the way that there's really no free mining pools and things like that nature. It's hard to explain in a video, but. Um, there's a bounty out right now by the by the grid coin team. They're going to give someone a bunch of grid coin um, if they can successfully create a way for it to be mined easier and kind of remove the restrictions um, that exist currently. Um, people are forecasting that once that happens, we should see a 10x increase in the coin. So I don't know when that's going to happen or if anyone's even taken up the bounty or tried to solve that problem. 
but um, you know this is definitely something that in the future could be worth a lot more you guys go and you can see what golem is worth um, go take a look at Gridcoin because I think there's like 300 million uh, so, something like that um, 300 to 400 million coins and right now they're very very affordable so even if it's really really speculative and it's something that you just want to buy and never look at again um, do that but just also make sure you stake it in the wallet uh, that's very important I may do a video on that that way you just get more and then when you come back in a year maybe it's worth a bunch more money so um, anyhow I think it's fantastic uh, concept I like what they're doing it's proof of like the Gollum project at work so if you're interested in that kind of thing make sure you go and research this because it'll help you envision how Gollum might work um, I, I have mining machines and I know that eventually I may be using Gollum um, with my machines instead of what I use them for today um, it just depends on the rewards right okay um, other than that, I'm probably also going to kind of go over a, a video on ARC voting. Um, and this is just for, I mean, it, I guess you guys need to tell me if you want me to do this video. Because there's a gentleman I follow um, on YouTube. And uh, he is rank 52. Um, he's a in holding power, or at least he's had that uh, rank 52 in votes. And uh, if you don't know how ARC works, basically there's 51 delegates. 51, so there's never a tie when you have to vote. Okay? So those 51 delegates get a lot of rewards and power for being 51, essentially. Um, it requires that you own a lot of ARC. And then the second factor is essentially that people vote for who they want to be a delegate. Well, the gentleman I follow on YouTube, who's really awesome and very, very helpful and has helped me understand ARC really well, um, his name is Crypto Lanka. If you look him up, go give him a thumbs up, check out his videos. Really cool guy. Um, he's rank 52 right now. He needs to be 51 or higher. And so what he told his community was, if you vote for me um, and I actually become a top 51, he is going to actually take the rewards he gets and disperse them evenly. He's he's not interested in, you know, keeping it all to himself. He's going to disperse those rewards that he gets, which is really, really cool. Um, so if you're interested in that um, and you own ARC, you need to own ARC. And you're going to have to be someone who's holding ARC, okay? Um, if you're interested in that, leave something in the comments and... Uh, I can do a video on it. If not, I can kind of I can kind of message you and just point you where to go. But if there's a lot of interest in people who are holding ARC and are interested in potentially getting more, kind of like crowdsourcing our power by helping this guy out um, to be a delegate, um, just let me know. Um, I think it's really really cool because I I really like the guy and I think that he would uh, he'd be gr a great delegate myself. So. Um, but that's just my personal opinion. You may have other delegates you want to vote for um, and go for it. Um, don't do it just because of the money if there's somebody that you believe in. Okay. Um, other than that, in news, um, Samsung uh, basically has come out and uh, said that they plan on launching a blockchain. Um, they're going to do a pilot program for uh, shipping logistics, uh, basically to track imports and exports of large containers and cargoes in real time. And this is really exciting. You guys know that Samsung um, was one of the partners announced um, as a part of the Ethereum Alliance. Uh, and uh, it, I guess I should say the Ethereum Enterprise Alliance, right? Is it EEA? Um, so they basically came out and announced that they're already working on this and they're going to launch it in Korea and be testing it. Um, and that's really, really exciting when we start hearing about some of the largest corporations in the world doing real business applications and solutions. It's proof of concept. It's proof that this stuff works. Uh, there's a very high probability that they're building that on Ethereum uh, just because of the partnership that was announced recently. I would be surprised if they're trying to do a private blockchain. If they are, good luck. But um, I wonder when I'm going to get a Samsung coin. <laughs> Anyhow, guys. Um, so that's the news I've got for you today. Again, if you want to hear more about the ARC voting, just kind of shoot me a comment or something. Um, and also, if you have a lot of interest in Gridcoin and how to actually mine it and all that, I, I have enough information I can kind of show you guys um, some 101 steps to kind of get that going. 
Um, it's pretty cool. So those are so there's my recommendation. Go learn about Gridcoin. Let me know if you want to vote on Arc. And um, until next time, I am the King of Dew. May the force be with you.